Heather and I am here on the Disney Wonder. I'm so excited to take a little tour of this ship. This is one of Disney's classic ships. It's the second in the fleet um, and it debuted in 1999. And what I really love about the Wonder and her sister ship, the Magic, is that they're smaller. And just because they're small, that doesn't mean there's not a lot to do. There is tons to do, but they're so intimate and you feel like it's easier to get around and you really get to know the crew. So come with me as we explore the staterooms and the restaurants and the pools and check out what there is to do. Let's go. staying in a category 5b which is a deluxe ocean view balcony and i'm a big fan of balconies you know if you've watched my videos i don't like the inside staterooms because i like natural light and i love being able to go outside with a cup of tea and take in some fresh air it's also really great if you happen to get motion sickness to be able to sit outside have the fresh air and look at the horizon but the rooms on the Disney Wonder, because it's an older ship, they're actually some of the biggest in the cruise industry. So if you are a family of four or five, you're going to have more space in these rooms, which is nice. There's also tons of storage. There are drawers everywhere, um, which comes in handy with a lot of people and a lot of things and longer sailings. You will not run out of space. You will not feel cramped. Uh, I all, oh, also they have a really cute little um, bed it, it's a couch during the day but at night it'll fold down into kind of like a single size bed which is nice and we have this fancy curtain that you can pull behind you so there's some privacy so they really thought about families and and what you'll need to create a little bit of space um, and it's a great home base for your week on the cruise ship Here's something that Disney Cruise Line does that no other cruise line does, and that is the split bathroom. So you're instead of just one big bathroom, you're going to have two smaller ones. And one will be the sink and the shower slash tub, which is great for little kids. And then there's another bathroom with a sink and a toilet, which means multiple family members can be getting ready at once, which hurries your time out to your port or your pool day. Um, and it's so nice, especially when you have little kids and this one needs to brush her teeth, but mom needs to do her makeup and dad's just trying to shower. They really thought of how best to maximize everybody's time and space. I'm here in Triton's, which is one of the three main restaurants on Disney Cruise Line. And Disney has a really unique concept that no other cruise line has. It's called rotational dining. So everybody gets to eat in each of the restaurants at least once, depending on the length of your cruise, and your wait staff travels with you. So they get to know your likes, your dislikes, what your allergies are, and you get really familiar with each other, which helps in the ease and speed of ordering. You don't have to pick which restaurant you're gonna eat at because you get to do all of them, you get to try everything. Um, and then sometimes they're open for lunch or dinner too, so or, or breakfast or lunch, so you get kind of a different menu in a different vibe. It's really casual, but elegant. Um, I think it's a nice, fun concept.
cabanas. This is the buffet on the ship. And it's got like this beachy feel. This is where you're gonna come for your breakfast, most likely sometimes lunch. Um, the food is actually really good. And if you have allergies, they're fantastic about making something special for you. I happen to eat vegan and they were able to create me um, vegan omelets every single day. But there's such a variety, everything from eggs to pancakes, Mickey waffles, fruit, yogurt. I just, oh gosh, and then at lunch, forget it. It's like every kind of Somebody's having fun. But lunch is every kind of cuisine. Um, but what I like is that the quality is really there. It's not just gross cruise food. So this is a good option if you just want something quick and casual. The restaurants downstairs aren't the only place to grab food. You're on a cruise, so you know you're not gonna starve. Up here on the pool deck, there are so many options to grab something quick. So if you want pizza, they have different pizzas. They'll even make you a vegan pizza like they did for me. Fresh made to order. There is a spot to grab burgers and hot dogs. Um, today they had a shawarma special, so if you like Middle Eastern food, they had some of that. There is the never-ending ice cream window, which is a hit with all of the kids, but also I see a lot of adults over there right now trying to push their way in. There's even even a healthier option, Daisy's Delights over in the corner where you can get fruit, salad, all different sandwiches, even vegetarian options. Um, and they have a make your own bowl. So whether you want a rice bowl or a ramen bowl, so you can be as unhealthy or as healthy as you want. Grab something quick in between those meal times because somehow on a cruise, you're always constantly hungry even though you're eating nonstop. It is a mystery of the universe I have yet to find the answer to. Something great to know that on Disney Cruise Line, room service is included in your cruise rate. So if you wake up and you're feeling lazy and you just really need that cup of coffee and like a croissant, you can call room service from your in-room phone and they'll bring it right to you. You just wanna eat lunch on your balcony or you need a late night snack, you really need some milk and cookies or that Mickey bar, call room service and they will deliver it to you. There is no charge. There's a few things on the menu that would be an extra charge, but it is very clearly listed. Um, you can look that up in your Navigator app. It does help to bring, you know, five, ten dollars in, in singles on board just so you can tip the delivery person. It's not required, but you know, be a good human. I'm sorry, I know that it is so loud here, but I needed to make sure I pointed this out to you. This is the beverage station up on the pool deck, and it's something that's unique to the Disney Cruise Line because they don't have drinks packages. There is no soda package, no water delivery, no um, you know alcohol package, but what they do is have all of your soda, water, coffee, tea available and included. You don't have to pay extra for it, and so anytime you want, you can just come up to the pool deck, fill up a cup, get a reusable water bottle, use that, and just refill to your heart's content. So I have my own personal um, reusable water bottle with me. I've been coming up here two or three times a day, especially before I go to bed, filling up and then heading on out. So if you are a soda drinker or a water drinker, be happy that you don't have to pay extra for anything you want here. Behind me is the Oceaneer Lab, and together with the Oceaneer Club just across the way, this is the kids' club. This is where your little ones, ages three to 12, are going to come to play. And let me tell you, I want to be ages three to 12 because they are so cute. Um, there's Andy's room, there's a Marvel Superhero Academy, there's a Disney animation studio. Basically tons of different themes and activities. They have a full slate of activities for the little ones to do. So pro tip, make sure that you sign your kids up before you get on board. This way, all they have to do is check in when they arrive. Um, and they can come and go as they please. You bring them in, you sign them in, and when they wanna leave, you just get a little text saying, so a little Sophie wants to go home, come get her. Um, I'm a little jealous and make sure when it's an open house, you come in and check it out because then you can draw and do crafts too, which is what I am about to do. I don't know why, but this is charming and the cutest thing ever. I like I'm in a dishwasher. <laughs> Wow. 
wash. Thank you, wash cycle complete. Hidden up on the pool deck is Edge, and this is the club for 11 to 14 year olds. So if you have tweens, this is where they're gonna be. Um, and it's a small, dark look room with tons of interactive screens and video games. Um, and it looks like the kids are having so much fun in there. What I like about it is it's kind of like a little intermediary place. So these kids are too big to hang out with the little ones and too little to hang out with the big ones. So this is a place just for them. Don't worry, the teenagers aren't left out. They have their own club too. It's called Vibe. It's all the way up in one of the funnels. Um, and it's just a really small, chill hangout space. They have video games, they have old arcade games, and there is a whole list of activities every day to keep them occupied. Right now, I know that they are coming towards the end of a scavenger hunt, and I'm a little jealous that I can't join because I am very competitive and love scavenger hunts. But it's just a fun, relaxed area that teens can come to where they can just sit and play video games and talk to their friends, or they can participate in board games and activities and so they will be here, the younger ones will be downstairs and you get to go to the spa. Welcome to the pool deck. I'm gonna guess that you're gonna be spending a lot of time up here. Uh, the Disney pool deck is divided into three sections. So we have the Quiet Cove adults only area where it's tranquil and peaceful and in the afternoons we'll have some parties and everybody's hanging out at the bar. Behind me is the family pool where everybody is welcome and they have the big funnel vision showing Disney movies all day long. And then there's also the kids area with fun water slides and a splash zone for the little ones. So you guys can divide and conquer, you can all hang out together, but no matter what your vibe is, there is something for you up here. May I have your attention, please? This is the officer of the watch speaking from the bridge. In two minutes time, the Mickey horn will be sounded from the forward funnel, and this will mark the exact time of 12 noon. Thank you. If you've been on a Disney cruise, then you know all about the magic that is the ship's horn. It's not just a standard ship's horn, it's Disney, so they have to entertain you. Um, and every day around 12 p.m., if you're up on deck, you're going to hear that horn go off. And it's just a little hint of Disney magic in your day. <laughs> so you think Disney Cruise, families, kids, right? What are we gonna do as adults on a Disney Cruise? Well, the great news is, Disney Cruise is not just for kids. There is so much to do for adults. Behind me is the Quiet Cove area, which is the adults only pool, hot tub, bar situation. They have the coffee shop right here, and then of course the spa. So that is all adults only. But on top of that, we have a whole section below decks with different bars and clubs where at night only adults are allowed in. And then during the day they have adults only activities too. So whether that's mixology classes or champagne tastings, that's just adults. And then there's adult trivia. And then at night they have like little game shows like and match your mate and it's there's tons to do whether you want to have adult beverages or you want to be intellectual about it or you just want to have fun there is so much to do and if you never want to see a kid on a disney cruise you can absolutely make that happen Part of the adults only complex is the Cove Cafe, which is kind of like this chic little coffee house. They do pastries in the morning and little appetizers at night. Uh, coffee is delicious. It is an extra charge though. It is an extra charge though, but it's so worth it. <laughs> I'm in After Hours, which is kind of the adults only um, club district if you will during the day they do activities here for everyone but after sundown this is for big kids only you're gonna find three separate bars and lounges there's the azora lounge which is kind of like the dancy nightclub but they also do um game shows here and, and, and trivia there's the cadillac lounge which looks like the inside of a cadillac but it's um for live music they always have a pianist or maybe some jazz music in there and like really fun 
on cocktails. And then there's Crown and Finn, which is the English pub. And you really feel like you are in London. So you're gonna get your pints there. There's board games to play um, and really cute photo opportunity. which is the adults only restaurant on board the wonder it is an upcharge it's not included in your cruise but i will tell you it is worth every penny you basically can eat as much as you want tell it they'll just keep bringing dishes it's an italian restaurant and so there are pastas lasagnas the chicken worm is the specialty of the house um, soups cheeses flatbreads oh, my mouth is watering there is a dress code, so for brunch, it is kind of like polos and slacks for men, sundresses for women. At night, men must wear jackets. Uh, ladies, you can get like a little pantsuit or a fancy dress. You know, live it up. If you're going out, it's a date night without the kids. It is worth it. It is so much fun. You do have to make reservations ahead of time in your Navigator app, and they can be very hard to get. So here's my pro tip. If you don't have luck getting a reservation ahead of time, as soon as you board the ship, come right to Palo and see if they have any openings because they usually hold some back. So you will thank me as you are devouring all of the carbs. Behind me is the Senses Spa, which is my favorite area of the ship. This is where you come for your massages and your facials and all that good stuff. But I think what everybody's favorite part of the spa is, is the rainforest room. This is kind of like Disney's version of a Turkish hammam. They have, you know, the eucalyptus steam room and all these tropical showers and um, heated tile loungers. And you kind of just go in there and relax and listen to the music and the little birds chirping. It is not included in your spa treatments anymore. You do have to buy either a length of cruise pass or a day pass. Um, I got myself a day pass, it was $34, but just check because that can change, of course. Um, this is also where you're gonna find the gym. If you like to work out while you're on vacation, this is it. They have, you know, all of your weight equipment and your treadmills and your ellipticals, but they also do classes. And the classes are extra charge, uh, but they have everything from yoga to spin to boot camp. I did a boot camp class this morning with Anthony. He almost killed me, but it was so much fun and he was so motivating. Um, so, you know, if you want to work off all of the food you are about to eat, this is where you're gonna come. Please ignore my terrible hair, but I just had to show you my skin, how glowing it is. Flow was amazing. We did the biotech facial, 10 out of 10, highly recommend.
so let's talk activities because you know we love cruising we love the pool we love being out on the ocean but there's more to a cruise than that so what are we going to do while we're on board disney has you covered there is activities for the entire family, activities for the little kids, activities just for the teens and the tweens, and then there are the activities that are just for the adults. So no matter who makes up your party, there is going to be something for you to do. There are character meet and greets. I mean, I've seen all the princesses, Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, all the Fab Five, Stitch has been here. Um, I think even there's Moana around sometimes. They, you know, Disney loves their trivia, so there's trivia for every age group. There are adult beverage tastings. I'm a champagne tasting kind of girl myself, but I also did a mixology class. Um, so there's all different wines and spirit tastings that can be a lot of fun. Um, you just have to check the Daily Navigator and there will be a whole list of things and you can pick and choose um, and do as much or as little as you want to. It's your vacation, you make the rules. I'm here at the Crown and Finn, which is kind of like the British pub, which really speaks to me because I'm going to England in a few weeks, so I feel like I'm prepping. But we are about to do trivia. It is a brain teaser trivia. I do not expect to do well, but I, there's a billion different trivias ranging from Disney to pop music to 80s movie lines. And so pick a thing that you like. There's definitely a trivia for it. Get your team together. Come grab yourself a beer or a wine and hang out. And it, it's just a fun little thing to do that doesn't involve being outside. It's really relaxed. And if you don't want to go to the shows, this is a good thing to do. Behind me is the Walt Disney Theater, which is obviously the big theater space, and this is where you're going to see all of your nightly shows. Disney has some really amazing Broadway-style musical spectaculars. Um, on this particular sailing, they did the Golden Mickeys, which is kind of like a longtime favorite of Disney Cruise Line. They have a Frozen show, and then they also have Dream. I think is the name Dream, um, which we haven't seen yet. That's going to be our last night, so I'm really excited. So one of the important things you're going to need to do before you leave home is download the Disney Cruise Line Navigator app on your phone. And this little thing is your lifeline once you're on board. It's great before too because this is where you're gonna do your online check-in, but once you get on board, this has your daily schedule. It also is where you can make onboard plans. So whether you want to book a Palo reservation or you know fitness classes, spa treatments, you can do it right here. It also has a messaging feature where you can message your party mates um, you know and say hey mom and dad I'm going to the kids club or what time are we meeting up for dinner so it lets you keep in touch with everybody in your party and also it um, does not require the Wi-Fi package so it works over Wi-Fi but it will not count towards your minutes or your data or any of that um, so make sure you download this and then keep your phone with you because you are going to want to refer to the schedule all the time it'll, it'll let you favorite the things that you want to do and send you notifications um, but it's really handy and important to have Thank you so much for following along with me. I hope you loved the wonder as much as I did. I, just, I had a great time on this ship and I really loved the smaller feel of it. It was easier to get around. I will say, it could use a little more activities. They're a little heavy on the trivia and in between, you know, dinner times, there's really not much to do. Um, but it's a really great place to come and relax. The food was phenomenal. The comfort the food itself is unusual on a cruise ship. Um, but if you have any questions, just pop them in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Please share with your friends, like, subscribe, do all the things. I'm Heather and I will see you next time. Bye.